so hello guys welcome back to our channel so this is gonna be the episode 4 of the placement series and in this video we'll be going talking about the company Honeywell which is a core company for EC students so I would suggest you to watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out anything so without any further delay let's begin with the video Okay, so welcome share to my channel and really thank you to coming and like sharing your experience out here. So let's start with the basic intro of yours. So hi Siddharth, I am Shreya and I am in EC department and I am from KTR campus and I got placed in Honeywell recently. And let me tell you guys like she is the one who got placed in the core company of EC which is very rare, like student doesn't get easily the core placement, so she's the one. So moving forward with the next part, so what was the eligibility criteria for Honeywell? So the eligibility was listed as 6 GPA requirement throughout your semesters, 60% uh, in 12th and 60% in 10th. And I think everyone of us like pretty much maintained that, so that was a good part. So how many rounds were there of like from the first round to the final getting the placement offer? So there were four rounds. The first one replacement top. Okay. Then first level uh, like test. It, it was a MCQ test. Then in technical interview and HR interview. Okay. So pre-placement talks is just a, like a normal talk I think where the company will be telling or briefing you about the company, right? Yeah. So, next round was the assessment round. So, can you make it a bit elaborative, like what kind of questions, what was the time duration and all that stuff? Okay, so it was a one hour exam and it was MCQ. Uh, the questions were the, uh, split into aptitude and technical questions from your subject. So, but I found the test easy, it was doable and uh, most of the answers were uh, so like what kind of questions were it was like purely uh, aptitude or some core questions were also there or coding questions something like that no no there was no coding part since this is a, a company for the core there were questions based on like your subjects like uh, control systems and embedded systems but okay. everything was basic question okay so moving to the next part it was the technical interview right yeah. So, let's uh, talk about that, what kind of questions and like what all stuff was happening there. Then. So, my technical interview lasted for like half an hour and most of it was based, uh, focused more on my projects. So, if you have a resume with good projects and you are able to clearly express them what you have worked on, then I think you will be able to crack the technical interview. Okay, so as you were mentioning about your projects, right? So what kind of projects you made like to make your resume stand out from the others? So my resume had projects which I've done throughout the semesters. They were all minor projects, but a recent addition to them was my major project and minor project which I'm planning to do. And I most of my interview went focused on explaining them about my minor project, which they found impressive. Okay. So next round was the HR part, right? So what was it all about? HR was only for like 10 minutes. The, the, the HR just wanted to interact with the candidates to know their attitude. And the questions were pretty simple and straightforward. So that was up to HR. Okay, you mean the general HR, like your basic intro and some situational yeah, questions, yeah. right? My, so what I was asked is my intro and then what I'm passionate about, my weaknesses, my strengths, okay. and uh, what would be my contribution to Honeywell if I get it. Correct, correct, okay. So like your resume played a very vital role, right? To get you placed in Honeywell. So any resume tips that you would be telling to the juniors? Uh, one thing I would say is like do good projects and mention those projects. Most of the technical questions, everything will be asked based on your projects. So I think that is very important. Uh, most probably you can't fake up, right? Fake the things. Yeah, exactly. Resume. Correct. Yeah. And talking about the interview part, right? 
all of us went for the interview for the very first time or the second time most probably and we all are very nervous at that point of time right so how you tackle that situation going into the interview i was nervous but it's all based on the mood of the interviewer if they are very welcoming and nice to you you'll feel a little comfortable and then you'll be able to communicate and another thing you should not be stressed about this right. <laughs> like so any tip that you would be sharing with your junior that if you might have got from your seniors beforehand you would have done much better in your placement part uh what i would uh, like them to do is practice communication i think that is a very key focus they in the interviewers like analyze your body language and the way you talk so a tip that i follow and i think i would like to give is talk in front of the mirror at least okay. like for 5 to 10 minutes at a day that's amazing uh moving to the next part which is the very crucial one that we all face rejections right you might have also faced many rejection we never yeah. get, and very rare it is it happens ki we go for the first company and we get the offer so at that mindset when you see your colleagues getting placed or the other branches students getting placed so we get panic right so how you tackle that situation it's obviously you feel the pressure when your people and your friends around you are getting placed but the key focus should be to do what we are doing and like do not worry about the result correct uh-huh. yeah so and like do better do not lose hope because placement process lasts for like very intensive months months correct so so uh, say one more thing like uh, <clears throat> what generally student do is like uh, once they set their focus okay we want to go either into core or we have to go into it right but in the initial time when they see uh, they are not getting placed so sometimes what happens is they try to shift their mind okay if you are not getting placed we can either go for a sales marketing job or we can switch that part so what's your point of view on that right how to get return mind or what's your way of thinking on that part it's it's you are having a particular job profile in mind try to apply to them and make your resume in such a way that it's very appealing to that job role so that you get picked among other candidates so i think each and every question regarding how she got placed into a core company that to in honeywell she explained in a very well detailed manner i think all your doubts related to how honeywell takes the placement procedure is now cleared out Again I would like to thank Shreya for sharing her experience out here and if you have any queries and you want to connect with Shreya to get the guidance I will be giving her LinkedIn and Instagram ID in the description part you can surely connect with her she will be surely helping you guys out with the placement procedure part or for the core specific uh, specifically and again if you have any queries related to SRM university or from RN we are there to help you out through comment section or Instagram handle So with this don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel thank you guys